Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I'm going to try something a little new. Uh, this is going to be a, a product opening, I, I guess. Uh, I got this 9-inch benchtop bandsaw from Harbor Freight after doing a, quite a bit of research on different models and brands out there. Uh, this one ironically had one of the better reviews out of all the, the major brands and it was the least expensive, so that definitely fit my pocket just fine. I've never done one of these, I don't know how much I'm going to show you, but here we go. instructions here which I'm going to refer to as I go along to assemble it because I've never ever ever put one of these together I don't want to mess anything up. Uh, a couple of allen keys and a wrench. Looks like a 10 and a 12 millimeter double sided. That's good they put the sizes on there so I can always use a regular wrench if needed. A uh, handle. And the table actually looks Pretty well built. I mean, not exactly sure what I was expecting, but this is uh, this is pretty nice. Holy packaging, Batman! Whew. Oh yeah, we're gonna stand this up. I really want you guys to see all this. I'm not going to care where the camera is right now. But I can move it. This is the voice from the darkness. <laughs> okay. Before I go any further, um, let me slap down a sacrificial piece of wood. That way I'm not scratching the hell out of the table saw. Everything looks good. I don't see any obvious damage. I mean, even I can recognize damage. So I'm going to crack into the instructions and I'll have the camera brought around to this side while I start to set this up. Okay, well, I'm kidding. I actually use the directions and it's something new to me. Alright, upside the table, blah, blah. Slide the slot on the table. Post, pull the release button out, help line the table. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're taking that uh, blade guard off. Uh, 
uh, before you do it, so you can slide your blade into the track. As with all of these very clear directions on any product that's ever been sold, um, there's a spot you need to put this lock in so that you can eventually change the tilt of the table as needed and lock it back in place. And then you can use that to adjust so you can turn that handle in and out as needed to lock yourself in place. Now we're going to square that up a little bit later on. I want to make sure my blade's tight first. Then I'll square it. No point doing it now. Alright, I'll turn this back around. And put this back where it came from. Assuming that it has some logical purpose in life later on. Please tell me you're going to tell me how to set the blade up on this thing. Uh -oh. Somebody, ha, ah, blade adjustment. Here we go. I'm doing this by hand because I assume that if I put this thing to the power and turn it on, this is going to fail really, really fast. And at this hand rate, I can at least catch it early enough without causing any damage to the machine or myself. So, this looks like it's riding dead center of the tire. I think it's got a sufficient amount of pressure. It's not really telling me how far it should be able to flex. Here, running through its guard in here, which is closed, locked, dropped all the way down. 
when I turn this on, I'm actually going to give it a little bit of space and just kind of see how things are going. If at any point I'm not feeling comfortable, I'm going to cut the power or I'm going to run away. So, don't be close and generally speaking, keep your doors closed. But I want to see that everything's operating properly. Thanks. 